Hello, welcome to your tech tip for the day. Today we'll be looking at photography. So, what is photography? Photography is the process of recording visual images by capturing light rays on a light sensitive recording medium, for example, film or a digital sensor. How can images be captured? A camera is used to record visual images to a recording medium. In a traditional camera, the recording medium is film, and in a digital camera, it is a light sensor. Common Camera Parts A camera is made up of several different parts, which allow it to function. These parts are the body, the lens, aperture, shutter, and the viewfinder. Let's start with the body. The body is a light tight compartment to house the recording medium which can either be film or the digital sensor. A digital sensor's sensitivity is measured in ISO numbers. And ISO stands for the International Organization for Standards. In this case, it relates to the standards for photography. The lower the number, the less sensitive the camera is to light, and the higher and the finer the grain is. The higher the number, the more sensitive the camera is to light, and the noisier the grain is. To demonstrate, an ISO of 6 to 4 is, has a sharper image than an ISO of 1600. As you can see, the ISO of 1600 has more noise or is more grainier than the lower ISO number. Lens This is a transparent element to focus light rays onto the recording medium. Lens are identified by their focal lengths, which is defined as the distance from the middle of this lens to the image sensor. So here we can see the focal length is defined from the middle of the lens to the image sensor. The focal length of the lens is usually displayed on the lens barrel. Some lens can zoom to adjust their focal lengths. It is then written as a range of values, for example, 55 to 250 millimeters. As you can see here, the focal length of this lens is 55 to 250, and the focal length of this lens is a fixed length of 15 millimeters. How do we classify a lens? Well, a lens is determined as a wide angle if it has less than 50 millimeters. A normal lens is within the range of 50 and 55 millimeters. And a telephoto or zoom lens is a lens that has a focal length of 50, 55 or more. The shorter the focal length, the more of the landscape can be captured. For example, here in this top photo, the focal length is 18 millimeters and it captures a wide area of subjects. For example, the appliance card and the two bottles. Aperture. This is the size of the opening in the lens when a picture is taken. It controls the amount of light that reaches the recording, recording medium. Aperture is measured in f-stops. The larger apertures have a smaller f-stop and allows lots of light to get through. Small apertures have a larger f-stop and allow less light to pass. For example, an f-stop of 2.8 allows more light to enter the lens than an f-stop of f11, as you can see here. Shutter speed. 
This is the amount of time that the shutter stays open. It controls how long the recording medium is exposed to the incoming light. It is mostly measured in fractions of a second, for example, one thirtieth of a second. The bigger the denominator has the faster speed. If the shutter speed is too slow, a moving object will, prefer, will produce sorry, a blur in the image. Say whether these images use a high or low shutter speed. Example A. Fast shutter speed. Example B. Slow shutter speed. Example C. Slow shutter speed again. Exposure. Combining all of the three elements. ISO, aperture, and shutter speed all work together to control a camera's exposure. Exposure is simply how the recording medium is exposed to the incoming light rays. Imagine your camera is like a window with shutters that open and close. Aperture is the size of the window. If it's bigger, more light gets through and the room is brighter. Shutter speed is the amount of time that the shutters of the window are open. The longer you leave them open, the more light comes in. Now imagine that you're inside of the room and are watching and are wearing sunglasses. Your eyes become desensitized to the light that comes in. It's like a, a, a low ISO. SLR, single lens reflex. An SLR camera, in an SLR camera, the image in the viewfinder is an exact copy of what is being exposed to the recording medium. The viewfinder sees the same image as the main lens. For example, what you see is what you get. This improves accuracy and allows for a better composition of the photographs. SLRs allow you to change lenses for different purposes. This is a hugely popular type of camera, pretty much the standard for enthusiasts and professionals. Here is a DSLR camera with the shutter closed. And as you can see, the light bounces off the top of the shutter into a series of mirrors and through the viewfinder. When the shutter is open, the light goes directly to the recording medium. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials. Goodbye.